Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is Non-Linear Control of Single Base BWM Rectifiers with Inherent Current Limiting Capability Now we are going to discuss about our product abstracts In our process a single base full bridge rectifiers in the investigator under the non-linear controller to achieve the accurate DC output voltage regulations we are giving the process uh, input for the uh, AC voltage and get the unity power factor operations and closed loop stability with the limited input current the delivered operation of the process the current limiting non-linear control is fully independent of the system parameters has a simple structure of the leads and easy implementation on the achieve the PFC of the input of the rectifiers the rectifier process the practically corresponding to pfc for the complete system using the non-linear process the control operations due to investigate the based on the input to state stability the closed loop system stability in this sense of the boundary lines of the evently uh, converts of the desired solutions of the the given rms values the consider a single phase full fridge uh, rectifiers feeding the resistive uh, process the controller uh, under the converter process consists of the boost boosting a uh, filtering in an inductor the parameters of resistance and the DC capacitors the four switches connecting the signal to obtain the PD PWM circuits uh, this uh, uh, filters can be different type of the to achieve the better harmonic uh, grid current the L uh, filter of the consider the simplicity since the explain the um, process the stage of the current limiting process in the process although uh, we get the process section in the main propagation of the paper process the alternate of the closed loop system stability is uh, analytic framework of the selection controlled parameters and then on uh, the voltage additions of PLL are the needs of the further control is implementation the current limiting ca capability of the car guarantees even in the case of the input voltage verif verifications the extensive experimental results are provided on the single phase full bridge rectifiers the proposed approach the verify the current limiting capability after the uh, DC voltage we get the output of the DC voltage and the give input uh, AC voltage process now we are going to discuss about our product flow diagrams in our process we are giving the uh, source held AC voltage we give the some voltage AC power we get the uh, using the full bridge rectifiers the rectifiers means we convert the AC to DC uh, we have using the full bridge rectifier the type of the uh, bridge rectifiers the half wire uh, rectifiers full wire rectifier and bridge rectifiers the bridge rectifier is purely uh, get the AC to DC so we are using the rectifiers of the uh, bridge rectifier after we are going, going to that conversion process the converter process the AC to DC converter process at the same time we are using the controllers for the PWM the PWM controllers we get the uh, output from the current source and then we get the um, converting process we give the PID controllers from the PWMs after we get the result of the low pass filters so we get the some process output we are going to the filtering the process uh, filtering the process we are using the low pass filters is the way of uh, uh, constant value we fix it after we get the value of the process PID controllers and then same time the PWM controller the uh, both the controllers we get the one port one process of the output we get the filtering process after we uh, go into the through the output process we are connected to the load uh, some any uh, purpose of the we using the load functions so our main objective for the this flow we are giving AC voltage input and we get the DC voltage output now we are going to discuss about our product running procedure we have using the software for the MATLAB 2013 version and we are using the tool for the simulating tool so I have designed the tool in the simulating tool is using the simulating tool I have designed the main process after we getting the uh, each components from here the simulating tool for what are the components we are getting from the each and every uh, libraries from here the simulating library after we finish the uh, design the process we are getting uh, going to the running procedure so this is the main our product design 
so I have uh, hide the process uh, this is the input for process for the AC voltage and, and then using the rectify mode process the rectify why we are using the rectifiers the re in this rectifiers are uh, AC to DC conversion process uh, from the rectifier full way rectifiers using the uh, maximum uh, perform performance of the accurate the convert to the AC to DC converters after that we are using the uh, low pass filters uh, AC to DC conversions we are some uh, occurred in the uh, D AC voltage in the uh, previous output so we are so three filtering process using after we get the purely the uh, DC voltages and then mainly we are using the controllers uh, we are using the two type of controllers PID controllers and the PWM in controllers both combination of controllers we are using the and then we set the threshold on constant values of uh, the PID and PWM controllers we get the output result uh, to the uh, DC voltages uh, I'm going to show the input and output voltages waveforms uh, this is the input uh, input for, for the AC voltages um, this is the input voltage for the 100 voltages AC voltage and the current flow for this block for the this is the current flow for the our product designs after we get the output for the DC voltage in our process we have designed this process now mainly we are uh, full bridge uh, full, uh, full bridge rectifiers after controllers and the input output functions so thank you view our product website